Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil 4. Once again, it is me from the past on January 27th is when I'm recording this. Because, as it turns out, my girlfriend's going to a hockey game tonight, which means I've got some more time to record, and I figured, what the hell, might as well keep going for a little bit. Uh, why not? I want to get this Let's Play over with. Well, that's kind of mean. I don't really want to get it over with, necessarily. I just want to... You know, I want to get this stuff done, because, you know, video files, I don't know if you guys know this, video files take up a lot of space on a hard drive, so I want to get this stuff cleared off as soon as I can. Um, I so, gotta get that uh, taken care of. Anyways, uh, last time we signed, we, uh, I think last time all we did was uh, go and grab the broken, free broken butterfly that gave us. But uh, this time on, we're... Uh, Heading on ahead because we still need a third piece of Wait that here. little uh, chimera totem that we need to get that door open. So, we're not done yet. There's still one more piece to go. Oh, isn't this a pleasant Fire, lava, dragon statues. It's all very, very nice. Now, there is a way you can get rid of these dragon statues early on. It's called you can shoot those bricks. Not very easily because of the fact that uh, I can't really see my first my uh, laser sight very well, but you can do it. And that will knock the dragon statue into lava. Also, probably the treasure chest to rise out of that. I don't really know how that's going to work. Weird. Uh, okay, weird. This is Resident Evil. I'm in no position to be talking about weird here. We spent the last several hours fighting giant parasite monsters. Uh, really am not in the position to be commenting on weird. Anyways. That out. Also, I don't know why my inventory screen keeps causing the fucking frame rate to go down so heavily, but, um... Although I think it's a little less noticeable when I'm actually when I've uh my recorded footage, but for some reason when I'm opening my inventory, the game's frame rate starts chugging. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's just because I have so much stuff in it. I don't know. And if that's the case, we'll be getting rid of the rock as well. There are two instances of a head in the game. They're functionally identical to the uh, regular. And also, I'm pretty low on hand command, so I guess we're gonna keep another hand in here. And I'm ahead here is behind the ass. This dragon statue drops down. But then again, this room being full of lava should mean that Leon should, at the very least, be getting stuck in here. You know, Capcom seems to especially not realize how lava works, considering Dino Crisis 2 also had a, uh, cavern that was full of lava at the point that, um, you had to traverse through, and, uh... Speaking of which, this is one of the sections where the game actually kind of wants to use the mind control. 
I technically you use the mind thrower to uh, avoid getting hit there. The only real issue with that is that honestly, if you can just shoot down the support, why would I bother with using the mind thrower? This is the main reason why I don't bother with the mind thrower. I don't know anyone who does in this game use the mind thrower over anything else. Maybe I should try the mind thrower just to see if it does anything. Um, nah, maybe maybe later in the game I'll consider buying the mind thrower. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want it to take up too much space. I don't really want to. And again, the set of weapons I've got right now, the Black Tail, the Riot Gun, the TMP, the uh, Rifle, and the Broken Butterfly, we haven't actually used that yet, so... But the Broken Butterfly, like I mentioned last time, is primarily a boss killer weapon. I'm primarily just going to want to use it against the boss fight like, because of how powerful it is, but how rare the ammunition for it is. So, you're not going to want to use it. In fact, uh, a strategy that I saw on the Resident Evil Wiki said, if the Broken Butterfly uh, runs out of ammunition, uh, do not reload it, but upgrade its capacity, which will refill it. And also, you may ask why I skipped that typewriter. Um, it's because I know there's another save point up ahead. So we don't need to access that particular typewriter. Not that it matters, ultimately, because I don't think this game ranks you based on how many times you save. So, uh, I know Resident Evil really does, the first game's remake, does uh, rank you on how many times you save, but I don't care. Even if I were to play that game, I wouldn't care. Now, there's a typewriter here, but we are going to save that because... Also, if this was Resident Evil 5, we would have, uh, failed the, uh... In Resident Evil 5, there's an unlockable weapon that you unlock by completing the game in less than five hours. I don't know what it is. I don't remember what it is. But... It, um... Makes... But, uh... Uh, we're... We would obviously have not made that because we've made it past five hours. Uh, okay. Now, an annoyingly, you can't combine these three uh, objects, even though it makes sense that if you could. Just to be, I don't know, maybe I'm the only person who thinks that. Alright, that lowers back down. Can you believe all that trouble? All because of that. I'm gonna reload my TMP because it is nearly out of ammunition. This area in particular, the game starts being kind of stingy with the save points. Uh, not really right here, but it starts getting a little stingy with the save points after this. I should know this because one of the, the uh, video footages I have is 20 goddamn minutes long. Actually, I think a little over 20 minutes. However, duck into here and you'll find another merchant. Another Welcome. I'm going to end the episode off playing another round of the shooting gallery. I'm going to start with the rapid fire set because we're not. Also, um, after I get the first run through, they start to get the target back to
go. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.